Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming in with another episode of Final Fantasy XV. All right. When we left off, uh, we had eight different twists happen within the course of the last episode, which ran way longer than I intended. And I took a break to let my brain handle what just happened. It was a long one. So, now we're going to move on. The next thing. Okay. First, I got to get a picture. There's got to be a good one in here somewhere. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I like that one. All the rest of them, not so much. They were a little goofy. But, that said. We're going to move on. We're going to pretend... That I didn't have a brain aneurysm trying to understand all the twists that just happened. But we all know I did. <laughs> because I don't understand. As Kothis crumbles, the Imperial Chancellor swoops in to usher the four friends to safety. But their reprieve is only temporary. As Duskai's skies fell... No, oh, sorry. It's tell of trouble on the horizon. With the regalia missing and the roads closed, the four find themselves stranded. Great, the regalia's gone? Fuck me. <laughs> so much for running with the regalia forever. The fuck happened? Who stole my car? Oh, man. Dude, where's my car? <laughs> I had to leave me alone in the comments. That joke was sitting there for me to make. Okay. What time is it? My chair was protesting because I turned like 30 degrees. I had to put my soda down. Several days later. Ooh. High Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in Disguise. The blockade shall Disguise. help us okay. root out the criminals. It's my bad. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. Oh, go fuck the yourself. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. Oh, yeah? Your recovery efforts? Yeah, about that. Fuck you. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Queen regions in recent days have finally Clean. quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archeans who had awakened in a fit of rage. Yeah, don't say. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest. Averting disaster. They stole my car! Reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the disc of Man. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait yeah. until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we dispel. Yeah. It's not fool yeah. ourselves. The Empire has it. Yeah. Oh no. The regalia and all related features are unavailable until the car is found. <laughs> then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. Yeah. So where does that leave us? Stratton. Fucked. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. Yeah. In the meantime, what he said. we'll have to hoof it. <sighs> Look, it's Umbra. Man. Umbra? Where's the pooch? There's the pooch. Approach Umbra. Well, duh. <laughs> Approach the dog. Why wouldn't I? What the? Someone sending us a message. Yeah, it looks like it. Guess we're gonna have to follow. Chase after Umbra. Okay, I can do that. I'm more than willing to do that. Where you going, Puppo? Where you going? I got to follow the Puppo. Okay. Why here? Um. <sighs> Uh, uh? Gentiana. 
Hear me, O King of the Stone. Uh, By the Storm Sender's blessing, will the path to the stone be opened? The Oracle goes hence in her king's name. Luna. Where is she now? The Eye of the Storm. <sighs> when the Covenant is forged, the Oracle and Ring shall await their king at the walls of water. Stray not from the path. <sighs> so we have to head to the halls of water. <laughs> She's a messenger. A spirit. Faithful to the Oracle. Oh, uh, for real? Yeah, that makes we're sense. going beyond real now, pal. Yeah, we're going into the nuts. The insane. The wackadoodle. Oh, the pooch left. Oh, we have a little book still. We have the little book. That's awesome. My prayers are with you, Noctis. Leave a message, man. I received the blessing. Thank you, Luna. Still rolling along. That's... That's... That's rude. We gotta be nice. We received the blessing, after all. We should be nice about it. <laughs> Let Luna know I'm okay. And she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. You think the dog's just gonna tell her that outright? You think there's a recording the device somewhere on the dog? Mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? That's a good the question. The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait. How does she know so much? So my dad's guarding it? Yes. Kind of. I had no idea. To crown the king of light is the calling of the crystal and keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen. Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. Of our star? You really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king hmm? is the Oracle's calling. Okay, then, fair. I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know Don't. you won't. <laughs> Unto the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Okay. Bridging heaven and Jeez. earth it strikes. The storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. All right. So there's a path that's calling to us, so we need to follow it. All right, fair. The three rune stones of Ramu hidden around Des Deske. <laughs> I had to make sure I pronounced that correctly, since I was butchering it the last few times. All right. Lady Luna Freya has done those. well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. I'd say, yeah. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Kaim may serve us now as it did them then. The hidden harbor. Mm. <laughs> Just my work. I'll have Iris set it up. So, in the meantime, we head into the storm. Yeah, another day, let's go do it. Another deity. Yep, because, of course, at this point, we have to run into all of them. <sighs> Duh. What's Listen. the big idea closing off our roads? Well, the Empire says it's for our own protection. Aha. Uh -huh. From what? It's daytime. There aren't any demons about right now. True. Yeah, they're, it's your protection for other things. Is this, is this my chocobo? I can feed a chocobo. Jeez, oh, calm, calm, calm down. I can feed Here. a chocobo. Yeah. <laughs> chocobo. You okay, buddy? Shut up. Shut up. Well, howdy. Hi there. I can customize my chocobos. I can name your chocobos. Ah! Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll have to think of the name later. 
Use seeds and fruit obtained as racing prizes and quest rewards. <laughs> Create dots and change the coloration of your chocobo's feather. What? I can do that? And I can change all the other ones? <laughs> Holy shit. This is cool. This is cool. Alright. Uh, Dladdy. Uh. Yeah. Just gonna make a fucking rainbow. Why not? Uh. Promptos. Uh. Sure, let's go with that. Iggy's can be red. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I'll go with that. This works. Metals. I can put metals on them? What? A replica metal. <laughs> oh, that's goofy. <laughs> okay. Alright. Shop. Oh, I can buy greens to feed them. Lighting of why I'm gonna have to get into chocobos now that the car's gone, but holy shit. Why I'm so confused now. But I also have a lot of money, so I don't care how much I have to spend. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's get all of them. Yep. And get all of these. There we go. Perfect. Is there anything I can sell? Um, not that. Uh. Yeah, I could sell one of these. Don't think I need them for anything. Gorilla Tusk. I only need, like, one, I'm sure. Just gonna sell off a couple things. <laughs> because I don't see much worth in keeping too many of them. I'm pretty sure I only need the one for upgrading anything. If I have anything to upgrade. Yeah, that's great. Right. I'll do that now. later. Yeah, we'll come back at some point, probably. I can rent them for day amounts. Huh. I can whistle for the rental chocobo from the tactical menu. Alright. Um. Oh, I didn't know you could change. Oh, I feel mm. stupid. I could summon enemies, too? Why would I do that? Would you, would you stop? Would you stop moving Let's go. so I can... There we go. <laughs> oh, my God. Chocobo jockey. Uh, I get to ride a chocobo. <laughs> oh, my God. See, I get to... Oh, fuck you. All right, get in front of all of you. Ah, Fuck you. Sweet chocobos, you always set my soul at ease. Never realized you were so into chocobos. Yeah. I'm totally into chocobos. Uh, don't take that the wrong way. There's <laughs> yeah, no sure. wrong way to love a chocobo. <laughs> There's no wrong way to love a chocobo. Okay, sure. Whoop. Oh boy, let's run, let's run, let's run, run away from that. I was not intending on getting into a fight, not on my chocobos. Wait, what? You can play music while on your chocobos? <laughs> what? First Titan, now Rama. Chasing down deities is hard work. Yeah. Think how Lady Luna Freya must feel. If the strain of the rites yeah, is annoying. as Gentiana suggested, I fear she's far worse off than we are. Probably. Probably very true. So we should keep that in mind. Oh, so that's Not how Sprint works. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off, you. I don't... I definitely do not care about you being so close to my person. Hey! How come that lady's helping you out anyway? Gentiana? Yeah. yeah. Is she like your fairy godmother or something? 
I think she's more a messenger of the gods. Yeah. Whoa. Which is no less mystically goofy sounding, to be honest. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> hell okay now that we're at level two your chocobo will occasionally trot in to assist in this in <laughs> yay that'll be cool your chocobo learned dash to chocobo hey whistle mid-flight in your tr mid fight rather my bad I don't fly what am I talking about your trusty steed might help you flee once per battle well that's that's fine if I need to get the fuck out of there, that'll work. Dash de Chocobo. I'll have to keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, you... Puns don't translate, so some fucking nerd on the localization team put that in there. Fucking so nerds. Uh, you know, human? Not quite. Well, not exactly gods. Messengers are divine entities. Yeah. Just so, like the oracle close. speaks to the gods for the people, the messengers speak to the people for the gods. Yeah. So she's Lady Luna Freya's partner in divine. Oh, partner in divine instead of partner in crime. You fucking punny son of a bitch. Prompto. Okay, that's what it was. It was the music in the background. Okay. I, I kind of want to just listen to the music of riding the chocobo. What the fuck? What is this doing here? Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a big ol' fucking... Wow, we got really close without me really noticing. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I should probably dismount before problems happen. I'm going all out. Yeah, Just don't get too away. She don't want to talk. Okay. Okay. Sometime today. There we go. That's what I want. Outstanding. Perfect. Yep. There we go. Some damage in. <laughs> I thought it was closer than I was. There we go. Get some good swings. Get some good hard swings. And there we go. You ready? Sniper. How can you miss? How can you miss? Okay. Oh, not there yet. Or we're done. Oh, yeah. Yes. That too. Yeah, rare coin. That's gonna be helpful. Hey, might. All right, we got seven days left of the chocobo, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Now that we did that, I kind of want to go after the mech. <laughs> I was trying to jump off the chocobo earlier to uh, figure out. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Uh, how to do it. But then combat happened, and I think it forced me off at that point. But, yeah. I was pressing the dismount button, and it wasn't letting me do it, so I was a little confused at the time. I just. <clears throat> and now I just want to fight. I just want to shake off the rust, because it's been a while since I've been actually fighting hey! in this game. Uh -huh. That was the I can't even sneak attack. Not nice job. There we go, that was good. <laughs> it just flopped over. Whoa! Prompto, <laughs> you should not have done that. Jeez. The fuck, Prompto? You nut. Okay. Head over here. Grab these at the campsite. So that's nearby. I might as well do it. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I needed. Okay. So. There we are. All full up. Good shit. And... I'm starting to think I should camp here for what the hell? Night. I can't get a hold of her. Ears? Oh, yeah? Does she call you? No messages. No, nothing for me. But, um, to be fair, 
I don't think we'd be getting much contact from anyone right now. Given the uh, scrutiny that the Empire is probably Imperials looking above at us, us for. Thanks. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Running away. Oh. Not even that close. <laughs> Fucking hell. I thought it was closer than it was. Alright, so I gotta go around this. Get up here. Get to that. Maybe? Yeah. Okay. I was confused when the boulder looked more in the way than the last time I saw it. Ah, and there's one of the rune stones, I think. There we go. So, here is his open. story about Lady Luna Freya coming through town was true after all. Judging yeah. by the timing of her visit, she probably set course for the Archean as soon as she fled the Ground City. Which explains how really she got over to big her time her first. Can't wait to thank her in person. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be great, actually. We haven't even met her really once. We've just met her in cutscenes. We haven't personally met her any times. I'm a little annoyed. I kind of want to do so I can see the cheesy bullshit romance that would be going on between the two. Ah, that was a lot of vibration. <laughs> Tenebrae. <gasps> ah, the young prince is recovering well. Who are you? Gentiana, my messenger. Mm -hmm. The prince has read of our kind. Oh, I tried to, but I only know what Luna told me. Hmm. Lady Luna Freya. Yeah, Luna f for Luna. It is hard <laughs> to young see to be able the to future happen. king and the oracle enjoy such familiarity. Yeah, the fate that's of what our you want world to call it. may depend on it. She finally opened her I eyes. Remember, back in Tenebrae with Gentiana. The revelation of the storm sender awaits the king. Hurry hence. To the eye of the storm. To the eye of the storm. Foreign hordes fear the true king's ascension. The fearful seek to seal the path of what must come. What is it? A another headache? I heard her. Gentiana. Yeah. Divine voices in your head again? Yeah. Hopefully it won't amount to the same headache it did with the Archean. Yeah, it's not... Technically the same sort of headache. It's just minor there's voices in my head sort of weirdness. Also, sounds like she's alluding to the fact that the Imperials may not be doing this just for conquest. Maybe? No, that's what it sounds like. Anyway, I have no idea what to make of this at this point. At this point, the game has gone so far above my head <laughs> that I don't know where I am in all of this. But that's what happens <laughs> when I decide to go mainline story quests. I lose myself. That's why I usually have the side quests to try and hold me down and keep me level and, you know, let my brain be able to process the shit. But it just... Ugh. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, just going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments if we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and going after rune stones Because apparently this is... One of the few ways we're going to be able to figure out where Luna Freya is going and possibly meet up with her for her, <laughs> for her benefit and for ours, for you.